Hey everyone, I'm Mike Kazmer. Welcome to Pond Beaver 2020, Pink Bug's virtual trade show. CR got canceled, so we decided to take matters in our own hands, and we're going to be reporting to you from various locations spread across the globe on all the latest and greatest mountain bike technology. I'm holed up in my underground lair, and what I'm going to be talking about is RockShox's new Debonair Air Spring. That air spring is going to be found in the 2021 RockShox Lyric, the Pike, the Yari, and the Revelation, and it's also available as an aftermarket upgrade. So if you already have one of those forks, you can purchase the new air spring for $42, or you can purchase a new seal head and foot nut for $25. So pretty inexpensive, but why would you want to upgrade your air spring in the first place? After all, it's not quite as exciting of a topic to talk about as an entirely new fork, but what they've done, they've changed the position of where that air spring sits in the fork. It makes a noticeable difference. So basically before, the first say, five to 10 millimeters of your Pike or Lyric Revelation Yari kind of had a little bit of dead space, basically. It was kind of getting sucked down in that initial part of the travel. So you're already using some of those precious millimeters before you even hit the trail. Now with this new air spring, it makes it sit higher. So you're kind of in a better attack position. It's not robbing you of those precious millimeters of travel too early. Right here, this is the previous generation Debonair Air Spring. You can see this seal head right here, foot nut there. If you look at the new one, seal head's a bit bigger, foot nut's a little bit taller. What that means is this sits in a different position in the fork legs. It sits right on the dimple that's inside the fork legs. If you've ever looked inside, there's a little dimple that allows the air from the positive chamber to pass the negative chamber. By moving this up a bit, they got rid of that dead spot in the beginning of the travel it makes a pretty noticeable difference. So it's an easy swap. I know a lot of you have some extra free time, or at least a little extra home time. I'd say for a semi-competent mechanic, you can pull a fork apart, swap out the air spring in let's say 30 minutes. If you're not competent at all, budget in a little bit more, but overall fairly simple, pop the legs off, pull the old one out, stick the new one in, you're good to go. So that's what they look like. Old one, new one. And again, you can purchase this part and that part separate and just upgrade what you have for only $25. In order to see if this thing was actually worth it, I did some back-to-back -back laps. I tried the previous generation first, swapped to the new model, back to the old model, back to the new model. The takeaway, it makes a difference. You can tell. Um, I ran the same pressure in both forks just in order to keep things consistent. Same exact rebound clicks, compression, all that was kept the same. The fork definitely rides higher in its travel, but you still use the same amount of travel. So big hits were dealt with the same way. It's just early on in the stroke, feels like the fork is doesn't get sucked down quite as much. It's, it's a good feeling. I'd say it's more subtle. You know, it's not going to completely change your world, but it does make the fork feel better. Now, it's worth noting that if you're putting a new one in, it does reduce the positive air pressure a little bit in your fork. So if you run the same pressure as you did before, you may end up with a little bit less sag, but I'd say give it a try. Start with the same pressure, and if you need to, you can always tweak it, go um, a little bit less air pressure if necessary. RockShox also a little hollowed out piece here at the bottom. Um, overall, the fork should feel the same as far as the way that it goes through its travel and deeper in the travel, the way it handles bigger impacts should be the same um, between the old and the new. They've kind of tweaked the air volume between positive and negative to keep things very similar, except for that initial part of the stroke, which is what they've improved. It may seem like a small detail, and you know, if you already have a model year 2020 Lyric Pike Revelation Gari, it's a good fork. But with this little guy, I'd say it does make it even better. You know, it just keeps you riding higher in the travel. That means there's more travel left to handle those bigger hits. And overall, it doesn't really change that nice, supple feel of the fork. If anything, it just gives a little more support. There you have it. That's the 2021 Debonair Air Spring update. It's gonna be coming in the Lyric, Pike, Yari, and Revelation, as well as an aftermarket upgrade. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content from Pond Beaver 2020.